This is the attaché case in Resident Evil 4, released in 2005. Notice some things about it, like the protagonist Leon striking a cool pose, the large highlighted text, the gritty textures. Recently, Resident Evil 4 got a full-blown remake, and now look at the attaché case. Leon's gone, the text is smaller or replaced with icons, everything is much plainer. This is a trend that applies to the user interface of other video game remakes as well, but it isn't just isolated to remakes, it's a trend within the games industry. Why are video game UIs so much simpler today than they used to be? There's a lot of factors that contribute to this trend, so I'm going to break them down one by one. All of these things help contribute to making gameplay function with greater clarity on a visual level. When creating a UI for a game, the main thought process that goes into the design is how can I communicate all the relevant information to the player? Keyword here being relevant. As games have evolved, developers have been becoming more familiarized with what the player needs to know at certain times during gameplay. Let's compare the original Doom with the most recent game in the Doom franchise, Doom Eternal. There is a lot of unnecessary information in the original Doom's HUD. Like, why would you need to know how much ammo all your guns have when you're only using one at a time? And if that's the case, why does it show the ammo twice? What's the point in showing the protagonist's face here? Doom Eternal, while showing more information to the player, simplifies it to make it easier for the player to focus on what they need to know at the time. Only the current weapon ammo is shown, there's no distracting graphics on the screen, all of it's focused and concise. Another key difference you'll notice is how the original used text to know what things are, while Doom Eternal uses icons. This is to condense the information on screen. An icon is far easier to read at a glance than compared to stopping to read text. Which, speaking of icons, let's talk about why they work. One incredibly interesting reason for video game UIs becoming simpler actually has to do with how people have become more familiar with concepts in gaming. Icons are a great example of this. People are accustomed to know what certain things mean, like a gear means settings, a heart means health, a bag means items, etc. And thus, developers use this familiarization to make things quicker to read. Outside of icons, gameplay trends also play into this. Take these two city simulation games, SimCity from the 90s and City Skylines from the 2010s. You'll notice how SimCity has a lot of info on screen for things like zooming in and out and undoing, whereas City Skylines has none of that. This is because people are now more familiar with how in games you can use the scroll wheel on a mouse to adjust the zoom, or on a keyboard, Ctrl plus Z is an easy way to undo things. These are second nature things to most players, and so on-screen indicators just aren't necessary anymore. Similar thing with Super Mario 64. It was one of the first video games with a camera system, thus they had a HUD element for showing how it was moving. Now, cameras are a staple in every 3D game, thus they are no longer needed in the UI. Games can be played on a whole slew of devices. A TV, a monitor, phones, tablets, etc. And this is actually a fairly recent development within the industry. Games used to only have to accommodate for one type of screen, the CRT. CRTs had a smaller resolution, and so older games used things like bolder text, more accents, and busier textures to accommodate for the fact they were being viewed on a blurrier screen. While it's hard to show here, these things look great when viewed on a CRT. Simpler textures just don't stand out well on these screens. You can see this in a game like The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It uses all these conventions to make a very appealing UI on a CRT. Compare that to a modern Zelda game like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The game had to accommodate for not only large flat screens, but also being played on a 6.2 inch Switch screen. So they used simple designs for the UI to make them easier to read on a smaller screen. Even though they accommodate for a smaller screen, you'll notice how all these icons are smaller too. Resolution plays into this heavily. On CRTs, small icons were impossible to notice. Whereas in modern games, the higher resolution allows for smaller icons, thus giving more screen real estate to gameplay. You can see this in Twilight Princess's remake. While they wanted to keep things as close to the original as possible aesthetically, they did shrink the HUD and went simpler on the background of the pause menu to adjust for higher resolution. As technology evolves and more and more people are accessing video games than ever before, thus comes the need to evolve the user interface along with it. Making the UI in games more simple makes games easier to play and understand and makes them more versatile for different play styles. While there is an occasional outlier in this trend, the vast majority of modern games lean more into simplicity in their UIs, and I'm sure this trend will continue into the future of games, as the reasons discussed show how beneficial it is to them. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.